Hello and welcome to this video on top 21 important questions on pointers. So these are the questions which are most often asked during the interview. Okay, so let's discuss. So the first and the foremost question which is asked on the pointer is what is a pointer? Pointer is a variable which can hold the address of another variable. It could be integer variable, float or it could be char or any other type for that matter. Okay. So pointer is basically a variable which holds the address of another variable. So the next question is what are the two main operators uh, which are used with the pointers? The two main operators which are used with pointers are star and ampersand. So these are the two operators which are used along with the pointer. The next question is how to declare a pointer? The pointer is declared using uh, the star operator. For example, int star ptr. So the ptr now becomes a pointer which can point to an integer data type. Why we should declare a pointer? Why there is a need for declaring a pointer? So it is required to declare a pointer because it tells the compiler about the data type it can point to and also helps to retrieve the right amount of data from the memory while popping the data from the memory it will be helpful for the controller uh, for example now you if you declared a point a integer pointer then it will fetch four bytes from the memory and if you declare it as a char pointer then it will fetch only one byte from the memory so that's the reason we should always declare a pointer what is the size of the integer pointer well the size of the pointer is always fixed and it does not depend on whether it is an integer character or a float okay so it depends on the size of the memory what we have not on the data type so size of the pointer is always fixed what is a null pointer so null pointer is for every pointer type there is a special pointer value which is guaranteed not to point to any object or any function so such pointer is called as a null pointer what is a wild pointer a wild pointer is a generic type once it is created it can be applied to any data type or any object so it can be uh, typecasted to any type you want a later point of time what is a near, far and a huge pointer? So near pointer holds 16-bit address and can access 64K memory locations. So that is 2 raised to 16 memory locations. So 2 raised to 16 is 65, so 535. So in total from 0 to 6, so 65, so 535, it becomes 65,536 locations. So a near pointer can access 65,536 locations, whereas a far pointer is of 32 bit in size, so it can access the addresses which are outside the default segment. And huge pointer is also again uh, 32 bit in size. Uh, the only difference is it can be used to modify the memory outside the default segment, which is not possible with a far pointer. So what are the applications of pointers? Yes, there are many many applications of pointer. It is because of pointers C is so powerful today. So some of the applications, there are many more, okay. So for dynamic memory allocation, for you for implementing stacks, queues, graphs, accessing arrays and string element, uh, the pointers are very very useful. How to declare array of pointers? Okay, so you can see here int star ptr if you write only int star ptr then become it becomes a pointer and into a square bracket 10 so here we have 10 pointers uh, ptr of 0 to ptr of 9 so we can store 10 memory locations into these pointers so this is called as array of pointers so then what is the difference between array of pointers and pointer to an array a very interesting question so Already in the previous exam, uh, question, I explained what is the array of pointer. So this is an array of pointer, pointer to an array of 10 integers. So this is how we declare pointer to an array of integers. 
so here we have 10 arrays uh, sorry 10 pointers and here we have a pointer which can point to uh, to an array of 10 integers the difference is that when you increment this pointer it increments by 4 so when you increment this pointer it incre by increments by 10 into 4 that is 40 okay if the size of the integer is 4 bytes Why, where it is useful it is useful when you are handling with the two dimensional array what are the operations which can be done with the pointers of course we can do addition subtraction of pointer with a constant subtraction of pointers possible if if they point to the same data type so addition and subtraction of pointers with constant is okay subtraction of pointers possible if they point to the same data type can be compared if both point to the same data type what operations we should not try with pointers addition of two pointers multiplication of two point uh, uh, multiplication of a pointer with a constant and division of pointer with a constant so these are the three operations which you try to avoid with pointers okay so another example incrementing of pointer so are these two statements same star ptr plus plus and plus plus star ptr definitely no because star ptr plus plus increments address not the value okay so star ptr plus plus will increment the address not the value whereas this increments the value and the next statement star plus plus star ptr and into the braces star ptr plus plus both are same what is a constant string and what is a constant pointer? Very interesting question. Let's see with example. So can you see this? I have a string with the name str and the string is hello. So this particular str array, this becomes a constant pointer. So that means you cannot change this point uh, str to point to another location okay for example here here i am trying to save hi i'm trying to assign this address of hi to str which is not possible because str is already pointing to this hello okay so this is a constant pointer so we cannot change the address here is it possible to do it no here you can see str of hello and uh, str of 2 is high. So I cannot assign the address because these two are constant pointers. Okay, so this does not work. Okay, what is the output of this? Yes, this works because I am not trying to change the constant pointer, but I am trying to change the string. So this is possible. Here I am able to change h to k because str of 0 is pointing to h so i can able to change that this is possible what about this star ptr hello okay so here this becomes a constant string not the constant pointer so now the hello i cannot change here okay this is not possible i cannot edit this string this becomes a constant string Yes, will it work? Yes, because it's not a constant pointer. Okay, I will I will be able to change this pointer to point to an, another uh, address. This is possible. What is pointer to a pointer? So here I have uh, int star ptr. It is a normal pointer, and then I can uh, also write int star star pointer to a pointer. So this is the variable which can point to a point to this pointer. So this is a, a double pointer. I can make this pointer to point to this pointer. So that's the reason I can call it as pointer to a pointer. What does the pointer print in this? Okay, here in this program, uh, I have an integer pointer and a function uh, which is returning the address or a pointer. So I'm calling this function fun. So 
So as soon uh, as soon as I call this function fun, uh, I initialize uh, x with 50 and return the address of x. Does it print 50? Well, this will not print 50 because int x whatever x we have here it's a local variable so as soon as this leaves this braces x is no longer available okay so most of the time you won't get the output and this is not the good way of programming how to avoid it so i can make this x as either a global variable or i can make uh, use of a static keyword so when i say static int x of 50 then that variable still exists even if the function exists okay so i can avoid this problem by making use of a keyword called static what is a dangling pointer a pointer which is pointing to freed memory location is called a dangling pointer so there are a uh, number of uh, uh, number of uh, cases where uh, pointer becomes a dangling pointer so we will discuss one or two so here you can see i have uh, int star ptr and i'm calling a malloc size of int okay so now malloc uh, the size of int uh, so the size of int is 4 so 4 bytes of allocate 4 bytes of memory is allocated and then the address of that is uh, assigned to ptr now i am freeing that memory so when i free that memory that memory is no longer exists so now this ptr becomes a dangling pointer this is one of the case so another case is here i have int star ptr and into the braces i have int a equal to 10 and ptr i'm assigning the address of a to ptr okay and as soon as this braces is over then it does not exist in that case ptr becomes a dangling here it is no longer available a is no longer available so pointer becomes a dangling pointer what is a wild pointer the uninitialized pointers are called as wild pointers for example int star ptr so so ptr is assigned with a junk value so that's the reason this is called as a wild pointer and it's very very dangerous what is a generic pointer so wild pointer is also known as a generic pointer as i already addressed this question in the previous uh, one of the question so wild pointers are also called as a generic pointer it is a pointer which can point to any type of data. Can two pointers point to the same memory address? Yes, not just two. Any number of pointers can point to the same memory address. So these are my 21 top most important questions. Hope you have understood. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.